Hi there, my name is Dawn Devine and welcome to my studio. Guess what time it is, gang? It's the Belly Dance Makeup Challenge. This year, in 2017, I'm doing the challenge during the month of June. So we have 30 days and 30 looks. Last year, my first year, I did this in July and I flew entirely by the seat of my pants. I made things up as I went along, I hoped for daily inspiration, and basically, well, it was my first time tackling a 31-day vlog. This year I'm doing it in June because one, I'm not traveling, and it seems to be the month of the year where I have the least going on. So why not just move it up a month? To prevent the seat of the pants crazy fly-by-night feel this year I actually created a list of 30 daily prompts and I'll be working through that list if you'd like to pick up a list of the prompts you can get it on Instagram you can follow me the link is below or you can get it on my blog or if you're part of my if you follow me on Facebook I've posted it there too basically if you know me you're gonna get sick of this by the end of the 30 days but there's a really good reason why I chose to do this last year and I'm repeating it this year. It's because makeup is one of the most important features of the belly dance costume. It's layer number two in my five layer theory um, of belly dance costume appearance. Number one is the condition of your body, your physicality, your hygiene, your health. Number two is your makeup, your grooming, your hair. Not that I'm a great example of hair today. And then number three is your costume. And that that's all the, the large components of your costume, your bra, your belt, your dress, your robe. Number four is accessories. These could be made accessories. They could, these could be things that coordinate or add to your costume. This is jewelry. These are things that are made to match or things that you buy to coordinate or a hair garden or a turban or anything that you add to your costume for aesthetic expression. And then number five is props. And the reason I include props in the way you look is because nothing is as striking as, for instance, having a, a shamadan on your head. Or if you're dancing with a sword or a tray, your finger symbols, your veil, they all impact the way that you appear to the audience and so while you may think oh, props whatever um, they really do have impact so during the month of June we're focusing entirely on layer two makeup so I just want to say a few things about today's look this is my go-to makeup look if I don't know who's gonna be in the show or where I'm gonna be you know what the lighting's gonna be like or anything I put on black and white eyeshadow I put on bright red showgirl lips and I put on a, a fleshy pinky color on my on my cheeks I am a sweater and I do get a very red tomatoey flush so I use a very heavy duty sort of full coverage foundation that I've put over um, a layer of uh, concealer I also did a bit of contouring uh, cream contouring and then I set that all with uh, powders that you know are associated with the colors so I set my cream blush with powder blush my cream highlighter with a uh, powdered highlighter and my cream contour my cream contour <laughs> with powdered contour it's important when you are dancing to know how to do a good quick useful face I like to have bigger eyes than I normally would in real life. My eyes are very deep set and they're quite small. And so I use makeup to pull everything up and out. I also like to wear bright red lips in that classic showgirl look in order to emphasize my smile. Because if you don't emphasize your smile, nobody will see your smile. And although I know nude, nude or your lips but better is really on trend, with you know fashion we're not going for fashion we're going for a stage look these bright red lips and these dark eyes will show up in a dark room or in a bright room so i hope you will join me over the next 30 days and see how this challenge evolves this year if you're going to join me pick a day that you like and 
tag me on Instagram or on Facebook with hashtag belly dance makeup challenge so that I can see the looks that you were inspired to do by the prompts of the day. And if you haven't subscribed to me, you can hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll get notifications when these videos are up. And for your further edification, here I am putting my makeup on. Now I've sped this up, so the 20 minutes should only take about 7 minutes in total. And you can see all of the steps in my process. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you tomorrow.
and this is my finished look. It took me about 20 minutes to get this makeup on, not super quick, but also not a very complicated look by belly dancer standards. From here, I would do my hair, which for me is usually putting on a headband, a scarf, or a turban. I'm quite a sweater, as you can see, sweater, not a sweater, somebody who sweats. This look today was made using all affordable makeup, mostly from the drugstore, but some from internet sites like BH Cosmetics. Tomorrow, I'll be doing glamour makeup for an intimate venue, like a restaurant or a nightclub where it's dim and I'm performing close to the audience. And if you are interested in seeing that look, be sure to subscribe below. I've included a list of cosmetics that I've used and some other links that you might want to follow. Until then, I will see you tomorrow. Oh wait, one last powder. This is something I always do before I head out, before I start changing my clothes and working on things. I add an extra layer of powder. It's not exactly the baking technique, but what it does do is it really helps keep the shine down later on in the evening when I am soaked to the skin from dancing like a fiend. Anyways, as you can see, I'm ready to go. You have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.